how to make a list. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'd like to welcome y'all back to another Android Pre K tutorial. This tutorial, we're going to focus on how to make a simple list. Um, nothing fancy, it's just going to be a basic list with en entries inside of it. And I'm going to show you how to get those entries from a string array and the string arrays items. So what you're going to end up at the end of this tutorial is something like this. Inside of um, your emulator, you'll have an API demos application. It'll probably be like the first application up there. And you can open it up and go to views, list, and then the first one inside the list is going to be the array. And it's basically what we're going to do right now is where you're going to have a list like this. And I'm going to show you how to put these um, entries inside of here from items that are inside of a string array. And it's not going to do anything. I mean, it's going to scroll if you add more um, entries than your screen will allow. And you'll be able to scroll through it and it'll have whatever values you put in there. Um, it's real basic. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, first things first, what you need to do is start up a project and um, name it whatever you want, you know, list whatever. I named mine example. And then what you need to do is you need to go down to your resources folder. It'll look like this, open it up, and then scroll down to layout, open that up, and then open up values. And that way your um, setup will look like this. And I already went ahead and opened up the um, files that I'm going to need. Actually, I got this one open because I was doing some stuff earlier. You don't need to see that. Well, everything that we're going to do today is going to be focused on the um, XML. All right, first thing what you need to do is we need to go over to the main XML file, go over to palette, go down to composite, drag a list view from composite. This will be the first, it should be the first one inside of it, and just drag it over to the um, layout right here. And you can see it already has some some temporary items inside of it just to show you what it's going to look like. If you sent this to your um, emulator right now, you wouldn't see anything because you don't really have any values in there. This is all just like demo text. What we need to do is we need to, once we have the list view inside of here, now what we're going to do is go over to the string XML file. You should already have yours open. Open yours up. It should start off right here. We're going to do everything from right here because it's way easier instead of trying to type it in. First thing what you need to do is you just need to go over to add and then we're going to add a string array. Double click and you'll add your string array and we need to give it a name. And you can name it whatever you want. So what we're going to do is I'm going to name mine colors because that's what I'm going to use for um, my values and stuff like that. So just name it anything you want. It'll add it as the name and then I mean, well, now that we have the name inside here, you can select this, come back over to add. And now, since it's selected, is we're going to go down to create a new element in the selected element, colors, string array. So what elements can we add inside of it? We can only add items to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep adding items. All right, cool. Now, since my string array is colors, all of my items are going to be colors. And you could do whatever you want. Like you could do countries. And then you can name all of the different countries, or you could do numbers and name all of the numbers if you want, or all of the favorite shows. Whatever you want to do, go ahead and do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to add, um, let me see, first color is going to be red. Well, for this right here, I'm going to add my cap lock so everything comes in capitalized. All right, red, add another item. And then it's going to be purple. And you can just keep adding. And it'll just keep adding them down from each other inside of the um, string array. Yes, we want to add another one. And this one is going to be called green. All right, cool. Now I'm going to stop real quick just so you can see what it looks like inside of the code view of this. Once we come over here to the code view, you can see what just happened. In the other tutorials, we showed you how to change the name of your applications and how those um, text views use these strings as far as for the values and stuff like that. So this string array is inside the same strings folder because that's what it's going to look for. That's what the list view is going to look for when it's looking for the string array as far as the entries and stuff like that. And you can see we have a string array and the name of the string array is colors. And all of the inside is um, items. And all of these items contain the values that we want. 
Now we're going to do this a little bit faster. What we are going to do is we are just going to copy all of this. And don't worry, we'll fix it. It doesn't look right, but we'll fix it. Let me just get this right real quick. All right, cool. And if we could, and you could use this right here, and then inside of the um, list array, it would just be these values right here, the entry. These items right here would be the entries inside the um, list view. And that's what it would be, but we don't want to use that. So all I want to do is I just want to change the text inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to blue, go to orange. As you can see, my laziness. <laughs> Hopefully you still get the value from this tutorial. But for the most part, this is all you need to do. You can actually go back to the other view and just keep adding items, but that gets like tedious after a while. And well, this is too simple for me to spend that much time. I mean, like, I don't know. I used to do websites and stuff, and, like, doing the same code over and over again, I like, gets tiring, and then next thing you know, like, I need to just get on to the next thing. I'll lose focus, but um, we'll just put a couple more inside of here, and then I'll go down. Now, anybody watching this right now, you might have noticed I missed the color. Probably, I don't know, but um, please don't put that inside the comments something you don't like about the tutorial is that I didn't um, add a color inside make sure these are not duplicates or whatever because this is supposed to be so simple okay cool so now you can see we finished adding all of the values inside of here inside of the items and then these items are going to be inside the string array and then the string array is going to be used as entries inside the list view and if you come back over to the resources view of it, you can see we have all of these items now. We added the first three in, and then we copy and pasted the other one, but they all come in as items, and you can see that the name changes over here. So this one is going to be orange, and that one changes over to yellow, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. And all of this is inside the colors string array. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come back over. If you don't have your main XML file open, you should have already, because that's what we just did but just to double check and then we're gonna make sure that inside the application all of those items get inside of this list view and even once we add those I'll show you something watch come over to the XML view and we need to go over to the list view let me just get this cleaned up real quick alright cool all right, now what we need to do is we need to tell this list view to use the colors string array as the values for the entries and then populate the list with those items from that string array. Sounds real complicated, but it's actually not. All we need to do is just type in Android, basic code, get it started off, and then it brings up the hints right here. Just type in entries, and then all we need to do is just like at array slash colors and all it's basically saying is go look for a string array and the string array is going to be named colors and then use those as the entries for this list view inside of the application as far as the main layout and that's what it's going to use then you just come over to save that um, and even if you look back at it, what I was telling you before is even if you look at it inside the preview is still going to look like the basic demo text or whatever but it's actually it actually should work now and it should actually use the um items that we put inside of here inside of this string array so these items should actually be inside of this list view now inside the program you just need to run it and we'll run it and we'll see what's going on so like I already have a configuration set up you should already have a configuration that you use set up if not go choose one and um, pause the video to get it started I'm gonna just run my, my new configuration I already have one set up as you've seen from before I already have a um, emulator open and I'm just gonna wait for the application to start up and then once the application start up it should basically be this example program that we just made 
and it should populate with the list and stuff like that. All right, and as you can see, our program, well, my program that I just made, whatever you named yours, should come up. Um, probably in another tutorial, I'll show you how to hide the text if you don't want that to show up there as far as the application name. But you can see we have a simple list from a list view, and then we have all of the items as the entries, the values and stuff like that. And you can see if um, you actually put yours on a hardware device, or right now, I mean, depending on how you have your setup, it could scroll, and you can add as many as you want. It's that simple. Once you have everything set up, um, once you have the list view already using, like, once you have the list view already selecting the string array, because it'll just go down to um, the values folder, the strings, and it'll look for an array called colors. And you can change this name to whatever string array. So you can have multiple string arrays inside of here, and then you can just change the name right here. Once you have this set up, and you could have multiple items. Like you could come down here and copy all of this. And that's what I should have done before. But you can have it at, just add your items this way. And just come down here and just save this. And then rerun your application. And then once the application starts up again, you'll see that it has more values and stuff like that. So we'll just wait for it to start up again. It's actually way easy. I think I took too long to explain something so easy, but I just wanted to make sure that y'all got the um the gist of it. So now you can see the items, well, the entries have now doubled. You can see that it goes back down after white, because before it used to stop at white. But now, like, the last one is white, and then it goes to red again. And you can just keep adding as many as you want inside of it. And you can put this inside of a, um, a different XML file for your um, string arrays that you want just for this. In another tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this list actionable. So you could click on it, click on the entries inside of here, and those entries actually do something. But for right now, they just highlight, just like in the API demo tutorial, it doesn't really do much. But now you know how to do it, and you see how easy it is. I know when I first started, it was really killing me just to get some entries. I just really wanted to just make a list, not even do anything. I just wanted to make a list. And now you can see how easy it is to make a list and stuff. The more advanced one is going to actually have a list that does stuff. And um, probably show you some more stuff about lists in another tutorial. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. How to make a simple list. Or how to make a list the easy way. Android Pre-K Tutorials. Thank you very much. Join us on Facebook and um, follow us on Twitter. Android Pre-K, so you can stay up to date with um, new episodes. Also, subscribe to the channel and um, leave as much feedback as you can. So leave as much feedback as you can, whether you have a question about something else. Try to make the feedback relevant to the video, but I know a lot of people inside the comments just need help, so that's cool. You can send me a message, and um, if I can't figure it out, I'll take a look online or you can take a look online. Another good resource aside from searching online or asking me questions is going to a website called stackoverflow.net or .com or just Google Stack Overflow and they have a lot of great um, information on there. A lot of programmers, all kind of languages, um, just basic questions, advanced questions on there and a lot. It's real helpful. I know I learned a lot of stuff from you got a lot of brain busting questions and it sounds incredibly difficult to use. Somebody else already asked that question. So go check out Stack Overflow. And if you're um, Googling for an answer to a question, if Stack Overflow comes up, there's normally a good answer on there. Just look for the ones that are rated the best. I can't speak highly enough about that website. But join us on Facebook and Twitter, Android Pre-K. And um, hope you learned something. And stay tuned. To subscribe to the channel. So that way you'll um, be alerted next time make a video and stuff. Next one should be up very soon, so stay with it. And uh, make some applications. Till next time, bye.